What's up, people? So, today I am in Springfield, Illinois. Um, I'm going to be checking out a lot of the uh, Lincoln, Abe Lincoln, he was a president, <laughs> breaking news. Um, I'm going to be checking out like his home, where he's buried. Um, there's also like a museum here. I'm going to try and check out all of that today. Uh, this is some bucket list items for me, to be honest with you. Uh, Abe Lincoln's probably my favorite president. He's a lot of people's favorite presidents, but he's definitely top tier for me. The dude was freaking dope. So first we're going to start with the home. Um, there was a school bus here, which is like the worst thing you want to see. Good for the kids, but as far as me, that sucks. <laughs> Hopefully it's not super busy. Hopefully I can get in there. Uh, yeah, let's go figure out what we got. Of course, walking up here, this is a national park um registration place i don't i won't i don't know if you call these consider these to be like actual parks um national historic site that's what we're gonna go with it's a national historic freaking site that's what it is let's get inside walking up here just documenting the fact that you need to go in the visitor center to get tickets i don't know if that was a covid thing or what but um yeah you gotta go in here and get freaking tickets so let's go do that Oh, look at this sign. Hang on a second. Here's a little sign for everybody. Check that crap out. Pause it and read it if you want. I don't freaking care. Thank you. Is now protected under the National Park Service. Um, all these other buildings on site, the wooden ones, at least the main wooden buildings, were here when Lincoln lived here. They've been <laughs> okay. Well, welcome everyone to Lincoln Home in the room. You can use flash. It is kind of dim in here. Really big parties or formal functions. This is the room where they entertain and meet and greet guests. A very fitting first stop, I like to say, uh, since it is this is uh, where they brought their guests. And today, you could say you folks are the guests of the Lincoln Home. We just don't own it anymore. Um, so we do know these are more or less the same size. That that was kind of the style back then. So, and like in, um, you know, I guess unfortunately it's probably used to not quite fitting. Or their Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch at the time. Uh, with no electricity, they didn't have anything remotely close to it. Or to those kinds of things. But, you know, it's not super far off from maybe an Oculus Rift or VR. Because this is a 3D picture viewer. If any of you grew up with a Viewmaster, yep. so especially the upstairs and up to and down because the upstairs was built later oh, yeah, um, sure. than the downstairs. Uh, I don't remember all. I know there's. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, I do know. I think that bed was a little short for him, though. Uh, so he was not able to like necessarily straight. But again, he unfortunately was probably used to that. Well, she has a nice chamber. Yes. 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 She got some fancy her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So feel free to look at these things as well. Uh, I'll talk about them in a second. So don't go down the stairs just yet. Kids' room on the right, that's the first room. The younger children, like I mentioned, were in mom's room on that trundle bed. And Robert, the oldest son, he got his own room when he moved out. Um, then Willie and Tad, of course, took those an opportunity to go through his stuff. I see he has some old glass. the original glasses. But we're not sure. Um, the kitchen is not too large, but it's actually roughly the same size as the log cabin. It was a regular human being who made mistakes, had flaws. Um, he spoiled with his kids, was crazy about cats. He loved and lost people just like we do today. So whether or not we can relate to Abraham Lincoln as the 16th president, 
hopefully we can relate to just the person living in this house. Trying to figure out his place in the world and shows us that no matter our beginnings, we too can achieve great things. I feel like I've seen this statue before. Okay, so got done at the house. I'm in like this little, I don't even know what this is. It's like a little park. It's got a few Abraham Lincoln statues that you guys just saw. Um, dump truck driving by as loud as it can. Me not being in the light. Okay, let's go over here. Um, the house, man, that thing, that's amazing. To be able to walk through there and, you know, I, I live in Marion and we have like the Harding home and things like that. That's not even close to how that felt going into that. That is still really cool. I wish they'd let me film in there and I'd make a video, but they won't. Um, really neat to see all that stuff. Really uh, interesting. Just feeling all that history, you know, you, you walk down the side of the house, you know, across the fence, and you just think like somebody walked down there, went through that door inside, and Abraham Lincoln was there with like his family just being a normal dude. We always think about him as just this crazy good president, did all these great things. But at some point in his life, he was just a regular guy that just had a normal life and apparently was really good at wrestling is what they told me in there. So let's go check out the museum now, see what they got going on. And then after that, hopefully we can go see uh, his resting place. So let's go. Here we are at the... Abraham Lincoln Presidential Museum. Let's go see what they got to offer. Here we are. Wow. This is... This is dope. They gave me a little map here. It's all just the first floor. A lot of cool things. Let's go check it out. Two girls for the family. So parents were in the bed, girls were in the trundle bed. The lighting in here at this time is brighter than it would have been. The only time Lincoln had to read was at night by the firelight. I just want to say these freaking like wax figures all look so amazing. It's really cool the details they put in like the paint on the wall and everything like this is pretty amazing. Man's just chilling on the couch.
of scared me. These things can't go over how realistic they look. It's insane. We got a bunch of like uh, presidential cartoons, kind of bashing Abraham Lincoln a little bit. Some supportive, some not so much. Crazy to see even back then all the bashing for a president.
this feels like I'm at a legit funeral. Like I don't even want to be loud. But it's a reenactment and it's so well done. That's amazing. Okay, heading out of the museum now. I didn't get to check out any of the shows and I feel bad because like the lady that was telling me about the museum said the shows are amazing. Um, three school buses showed up right as I was leaving or close to it and I was just like, you know what, this is a good time to uh, bail. So it's starting to get a little busy. It is, it's a Wednesday, it is school time, so I guess I get it. Um, but yeah, I, I would highly recommend that museum and train going by it's right on route 66 so if you're traveling route 66 swing on in check out that museum the wax figures and the reenactments and everything are amazing so definitely definitely check out that museum so uh, we're gonna go check out the, uh, the tomb site now see what it looks like so we're here at the tomb it looks like there's like a uh, class of some sort going on up there I'm gonna try not to disturb them and show you guys some footage of this um, this thing's incredibly cool so so you can't go up there to see the statues the uh, stairs are blocked but like they're pretty amazing looking from here so also is that called an obelisk this big long like uh, pointy looking thing I think it's an obelisk it may not be obelisk yeah see no access permitted dang it all right let's go inside I think um, <clears throat> I think me and Ernie saw this. I'm pretty sure we saw this when we went there. Also, did they get the date wrong. There's a four and then there's a three. That's pretty insane. If that's what's messed up, and then the Gettysburg Address is here. Wow, this tomb is uh, pretty amazing. So when you come here, there's a, a Lincoln like guy and you're supposed to rub his nose, a Lincoln guy, a little monument statue thing that you're supposed to rub his nose for good luck. And that's right where this class is going on. So I'm about to interrupt them because I really want to rub Lincoln, Lincoln's nose for good luck. So here we go. There's the class. Stand there for you to rub his nose. Door is a Gettysburg address. Gotta rub his nose. Um, well, 
Uh, we do have uh, in June, July, or August. See the uh, U.S. flag. I think I only made her stutter once when I climbed right in front, in front of their little session to rub his nose. I don't know if you'll hear it in the video or not, but it was kind of funny. I feel kind of bad, but like, I mean, I wanted to rub his nose, so I rubbed his nose. But uh, yeah, so that's the tomb. So we got to see his home. We got to see the museum, which was amazing, and the tomb, which is super cool. And I mean, this was a good day. This is a great day. Like I said, this is part of Route 66. A lot of this stuff maybe is just a little bit off. So if you're ever doing a Route 66 trip, you're gonna go through here. It's worth looking at all of this stuff. You could, this is where you'd probably wanna stay the night. Go through, look at all the things here, check it out. And yeah, I mean, pretty decent. Favorite president, I would say big fan of Abraham Lincoln and this was on my bucket list to see all this stuff i'm really happy that i'm here looking at all these things really cool and yeah so i think that's that's pretty much it i think that's going to be the video so thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed seeing all these cool things um if i ever do route 66 which is somewhat of a bucket list item for me as well i'll come back and i'll document this stuff there's a lot of things i didn't even get to see in Springfield so there's a lot more stuff to look at but you know just sometimes you just don't have all the time to do everything you want to do but these three major items I definitely want to get done today um, I'll go back to that museum probably at some point in my life and check out the shows too so thanks for watching hopefully like I said you guys enjoyed it peace